radio, deal, everything, hot song, and they open up for Phil, Big Felipe. And then, so y'all do, you do the math. You do the math. Everybody was better than Baby, but guess what? Everybody know who built Cash Money. Everybody on Cash Money was better than Baby. But everybody know who built Cash Money. All right? Let me know. Everybody know who built Cash Money, but everybody on there was better than Baby. So it really don't matter. Y'all niggas could be better than me. I don't give a fuck. I don't even where you're coming at, dollar I don't see it. Nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. About a nigga being better than me in rap, nigga. Nigga went better than me in trapping, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, we one for one. Niggas better than me in rapping. But niggas wasn't better than me in trapping. We even. But do it look like do it look like I was left off bad and bougie? <laughs> do it look like I was left off bad and bougie? It look like I'm starving. You, look, you feel me? Come on, man. That's the whole thing, man. Y'all gotta look at this shit, man. The music is like the new music is the new dope game. Nigga, the music, the songs, the tapes, and all that shit. That's the bricks. You feel me? That's the bricks. That's the rocks. You know what I'm saying? That's the pounds, you know what I'm saying? That's the kilos, whatever it is, my nigga. I know a nigga tell me, man, I got 20 albums. And where they at? On my computer, I got 20 albums. Pound what? I don't see no comments, though, but they tell me, I got 20 albums. 20 albums? Like, yeah, I got 20 albums, woo, all this shit. I say, where they at? On the computer. On the computer? The fuck they doing on the computer? And then this is a nigga that complain about not getting no rap money. Apparently you don't want no rap money. You got 20 albums on the computer? That's like a nigga complaining talking about, I got 20 bricks in the house, but, it, but it's slow outside and nobody buying dope. You ain't letting nobody know you got dope for sale. You just waiting on the fed case. You waiting on them to come kick your dough in. And take you down for them 20 bricks. And you gotta let it be, you gotta put it out. You gotta, I got dope, nigga. You gotta let niggas know you rapping. You got 20 albums and they on a computer. Can't nobody hear that shit? Come on, man. What's the point of having 20 albums? Yeah. Oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. 20 albums, nigga. I, I mean, I could just tell y'all what I make off each tape. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, what? I'm not, I'm not holding nothing, nigga. I'm not, listen. I'm not holding nothing, nigga. I'm giving it all to you. I don't do a hundred songs. I don't do a hundred songs, record a hundred songs, and then take 15, and then got 85 left, and then drop the, drop another 15, 90 days from from the um, other tape. No, nah, nigga. If I do an album or a tape or a mixtape, whatever, I just recorded them songs, and I'm giving them to y'all right then and there. So if I say I'm about to put nine songs, five songs, 10 songs, 20 songs, them is the songs I just recorded and I gave y'all. The first 20 songs I'm recording, I'm giving y'all. First nine songs, first 10, I don't do because you record so much, you could have did 100 songs, held 85, put out 15. In the midst of you, uh, midst of that album coming out, you're still recording. So by next time you drop another album, you got new music that you want to put out. You got 85 old songs you want to drop. The fuck? Listen, that shit is getting older and older. This musical shit changed, nigga, fucking weekly. Shit changed all the time. Listen, if I say I'm about to record this, I get an album name, a cover. I'm about to put 12 songs on there. First 12 songs I record, I'm giving you. Well, I don't do 200 songs and then take 15 and then got a motherfucking 185 left. The fuck? And that's money, nigga. Nigga, it's crazy. Crazy. I'm about to record, drop, record, drop, record, drop, record, drop, record, drop. That's how I fuck with it. Because if you record too early, and then you're about to drop 
about six months from now, you, you record in between that six months, 85 songs is old. I know a nigga that got hella songs and just keep recording, never dropping the shit because they keep getting old to him. Never put it out. He's so backed up. Like, fuck it. Mm -hmm. I'm giving all this shit. Even if y'all feel like it's whack, look, somebody gonna like it. Somebody gonna fuck with it. Period. As long as I come on there with that, it's filthy. Somebody gonna like that shit. Our fifth group, our fifth group will be our zones. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can um, take over the 40 process, I'm putting this shit out. I ain't holding nothing. When I go, man, nigga ain't about to motherfucking Tupac me, Michael Jackson me, and have all type of songs and verses from me and putting all these old random ass niggas on shit I don't even fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. I'm just drop East Open Legend. Just turned in Big Felipe. Working on Philip Beasley. You feel me? Period. Oh, me and Cook video dropped today on World Star, I think. Money Right dropped today on World Star off that East Oakland Legend. All the shot. I got eight videos tucked right now. Eight videos put up already. Drop it once a week. That's how I got popped. You that's how I got pop. It's my work ethic, bro. I'm shooting a video tomorrow. You know? Stay farther. I got a video shoot up. Shoot, I got a video shoot set up tomorrow. Shout out Stewie. You feel me? And I ain't boasting or bragging. I'm just showing y'all. That's how you gotta get to this shit. You feel me? That's how you gotta get to it. Niggas want this shit. Niggas wanna shine. Niggas wanna you feel me? Be fly. Niggas wanna be a rapper. Niggas wanna be on stage. Niggas wanna get booked for shows. Niggas, you know, with the bitches, the limelight, you feel me, the forms, whatever, all that shit. They gotta work, bro. They gotta work. That's all they gotta do, bro. Work. Gotta work. You know what I'm saying? You pull up to, um, you pull up to, uh, um, some motherfucking, um, Home Depot, right? You need somebody to come work on your house, you feel me? You need somebody to come work on your house. You go pull up to Home Depot. You know, the homies be outside of uh, Home Depot and shit. You ain't gonna get the nigga that's over there trying to be nonchalant and be cool. You gonna get the nigga that bounce in the car, come on, talking about, let's go, let's hurry up. The nigga that's eager to work. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just how it is. Nigga ain't finna sign no nigga that ain't eager to work, that ain't dropping nothing, that ain't ready to get to it, that ain't got no hustle, no motivation, no dedication. Nigga ain't finna, oh, he think he too cool, I'm about to go fuck with him. Nah, nigga, fuck with the nigga that's, gonna, you feel me, that's ready to grind this shit out. Yeah. Here, that's what it's about. So, all you niggas that want to be rappers, I dropped my first album, July 26, 2009. That's 10 years ago. Them. Others, you know what I'm saying? So, this is a process, man. Should have grown. I'm dropping Big Felipe July 26, 2019. You feel me? I dropped my first album, Funk or Die, 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas ain't able to say they had 10 years under their belt. That's why I was, you feel me, retiring from rap. I got y'all niggas a dime of this shit. Over 100 albums, over 100 projects, 100 tapes. You feel me? Out of 10 years. So, fuck, I'm finna just keep rapping for you. Know I, mean? I, I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do, you feel know I me? Mean? Came this motherfucker, did my thing, ran that shit up, put niggas on, show love, you feel me? Put on for East Oakland, put on for the hood, you get what I'm saying? Did shit, been there, done that. Touch millions off this shit. You feel me? 
You know what I mean? They can't mention the Bay Area or mention Oakland without mentioning Philly. Here. Straight up. At the end of the day, well, I, I just don't want to rap, so. <coughs> Here. I gave y'all time in this shit. I gave y'all time of my life, you feel me? And this music shit. My first album came out July 26, 2009. Niggas was hating me. Niggas ain't want niggas to drop my album. Niggas ain't want you feel me? Stretch was pulling up the seminary. I'm giving them my CDs with songs on it and shit. You feel me? Eager. Eager then before I even had an album. Bro, pull up on me, bro. I got some new shit. I recorded some last night. Oh, I'm about to shoot this video. You feel me? Maybe before I even dropped the album. So niggas still got that same ambition. I just took how I hustled in the, in the dope game in the music game. Period. Some of you niggas get on these songs and rap about 36 zips and, and all these pounds and shit and put a nigga in the kitchen and don't even know what a beaker is. Don't know what to do with the soda. Don't know what the, don't, don't, don't even know what a Pyrex is. You feel me? That shit sound good. Uh -huh. Don't know what temperature to cut the, um, the eye on. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, they can make up all type of shit on these raps, man. There's a whole bunch of capping on them. A whole bunch of foo foo. You feel me? Salute to all the real niggas doing it though. Like all the real niggas, they really struggled in this shit. Like a lot of the real niggas, they ain't just take off, off the rip. You feel me? Come out. A lot of niggas had a grind and shit. Trial, tribulation, going to jail. I was going to jail when I first started rapping. I still was on the block getting caught with dope, pistols. You feel me? All type of shit. I'm trying to get money for studio time. Ain't no nigga pay for my studio time. Ain't no nigga press up my flyers. Ain't no nigga pay for my videos. And a nigga, ain't, ain't one nigga on this earth did that. Period. Not one nigga on this earth did none of that. You feel me? So ain't no nigga put me on put my cell phone. You feel me? Put my cell phone. I fucked with niggas and whatever a nigga brought to the table, I brought to the table also. So ain't nobody put me on. I pay for my own shit. You feel me? I pay for my own videos, my own studio time. On mixing, mastering, on CDs, on videos, on everything. Period. So that's putting the nigga on. Like, uh -huh. he go a bitch. Ooh, she gonna do this and he gonna get a bad. Or he go a brick. He go a block right here. He gonna make this every day. That's putting the nigga on. He gonna get me like that. Nigga ain't, ain't little boy me. Ain't son me. Feel me? Fair. That's why niggas still going to jail. Niggas still doing what he had to do. Studio time ain't, ain't cheap, nigga. CDs ain't cheap, nigga. Videos ain't cheap, nigga. That shit costs. Especially when you don't got no budget and you independent on the block doing what you doing. Shit. You got to take care of kids and family members and households. And you funking. You got to stay. You feel me? This shit look. This shit look all... All nice now, nigga. Nigga went through hell. Hell. Fear. So, damn. Nigga went to hell with this shit, man, trying to be a rapper. In the beginning, because that nigga was still stuck on the block, stuck in his ways. Nigga had to transition from getting off the block to him becoming a rapper. That's when I forgot it. Shit. shit wasn't easy, man. Nigga, nigga ain't just put a nigga in the studio. I'm gonna pay for your studio time, and pay for your video, and pay for your, pay for your outfits, and pay for this and pay for that. You know, I hate that. I wish, wasn't that? I'm about to, I'm about to jump on this flight though, man. I'll let y'all let it go.